Welcome back to Grass 4x4. Today we're going to be doing Demon Eye headlights on the 70 series. So I ordered some from Tech Tours. They took four days maybe to come in, which was really good. The DIY kit, retrofit ones. So the whole idea of this, I'll give you a quick run through of what we gotta do. We gotta take the old lights out. We gotta heat them up a little bit, take the lens off, paint the inside black, let that dry, fit the lighting in, wire it up a little bit, and yeah, refit the lens back on and put them back in. It's not an overly hard job. Heaps cheaper doing it this way than paying the big bucks for someone who's done it for you. So sit back, enjoy, and I'll see you at the end. So you've basically got to get your knife in to wedge it apart. Yeah, just trying to find a good grabbing point. And then as you slowly work your way around, you just look for your clips. Just make sure you're not pulling any clips apart. So first step is get rid of your little screws. Yeah. And then I've got a real sharp knife here just to get under this one because these ones are hidden. How long do you reckon you had them in the oven for? Ah, five minutes. I just kept opening the door, touching them. Nice and slow and just sort of watch it. You can see it just pulling away. And then same thing, just flip them over. And that's it. But you take out your old lenses, or your old globes. What we're doing here is anything that's chrome, if you've watched some of my videos before, you'll know, anything that's chrome needs to be matte for paint to stick to. If it's not a matte finish, I'll show you in a second, it will not, paint will not stick to it. So. We look here, you'll be able to see that there is now like a matte finish where on the inside it's still shiny. So you've got to get it all back to that matte. It's going to be a fiddly little job. But... See, so we just got the first light sanded. I'll give you an idea for comparison so you can see, see how dull that is compared to that one. So you want it to be nice and matte finish for the paint to stick to. Because it's a chrome, you've got to etch prime it. So once I do this one, I'll etch prime, etch prime both. And then I'm just going to use, I just got acrylic, I got acrylic paints that I've already got here out of a can. Because it's going to be inside of a lens, I'm not going to go full 2K or anything like that. I'm just going to use the black acrylic. Then I got an acrylic clear, just to give it that nice shine in there. I just used Scotch Bright for most of it. Because it's squishy, you can actually squish it right into little grooves. There's plenty of little grooves in there, so. Oh, We're just uh, waxing grease, removing everything. I was hoping I had um, a can of etch primer, but my can of etch primer is sort of broken. So I don't know if I cleaned the nozzle when I used it last. So lucky I got some in the gun. I'm just giving these little fellas a little bit of a rub. Yeah, yeah, just a little bit of smoothness, not that you're ever really going to see it, but same thing, Scott's bright, so it's super fine. Just sort of takes that top little orangey peel-ish layer off. Just putting a clear coat. So I'm just test fitting these lights in here now. I didn't get instructions in my box, but on the box it says scan me for instructions. And the scan code doesn't work. So I am currently going full rogue. Just winging it and taking a guess. I've now 
just drilled a hole behind this. Yeah, so there's three cables that come out of this light. Um, now the reason I had to drill a hole, one of them comes out of the middle, which is the bolt. I'll show you in a second. And two, don't. The hole that's there, it's perfectly fit for the bolt out of this. So I had to drill a hole to run these two through. So that's where the bolt comes through. So it perfectly fits that. And then I've just had to drill a hole up the top here, which is gonna be behind the light. I'll put some silicon on that, but from the front, the reason I'm test fitting them is because you can actually adjust them. So I sort of want to test fit it, put it back in the car, make sure the lights and stuff work first before I go and completely seal it and put it back together. I have a funny feeling now, just an FYI, this light up here isn't going to go back in if you look at some photos, and that's where you're meant to route the cable through. Make sense? Yep. Yep. All the cables seem pretty self-explanatory, like that's your headlight one, which goes onto the back of it. Um, and then the rest of them are like plugged to the modular. Then the modular gets power. So I need my turn signals and then positive and negative. So I've got to find them somewhere. And my guess is these are just an extension cable for wherever I decide to route it. Hi beam. Yeah. So the mad scientist over here, I've just Ooh. gone and chopped into a few cables and played around and downloaded the apps to test them and uh, oh, that looks so sick. So I've just played around and I had to chop into a few wires and stuff. I've got to tape them up, but yeah. Well, at least we have lights. Yeah, they're working. Which is great. And we can change them and stuff too, so. Yeah, cool. I just got to wire the indicator in. I don't know what that changes. I don't know if you can make your indicator fucking dance as well, but <laughs> anyway, we'll turn these lights off and do this properly. So as you can see, we've got one whole light back together. We've just um, put that one together, made sure it all worked again. All I've got to do on the other one is wire this indicator in, which is what I'm doing. And then it's just plug and play. Just literally plug it in, glue <laughs> it back together, off we go. Hopefully. So we're all fully MacGyvered now. We put black silicon on the hole. I'll show you on this one. I put some nice black silicon around the holes that went into the light shroud. So hopefully we don't get any water in them. A little bit of silicon on the edge, but the, the uh, rubber still on it. The um, deck, deck tile or whatever it is. I can't remember exactly what it was. Super glue, like super glue. I just pushed it in trying to get it right and I couldn't, I struggled to get it back out. So it's still pretty strong. So I've got my next light here ready to go. Ignore my mess, that's my light mess and painting mess. Now I've drilled another hole in top again. So these are the three cables I was talking about and then the bolt that goes through. That one's on the inside of the bolt, which is good. Fits in the factory location. I just drilled an additional hole. And then just feeding these fellas through. One of them has a wider head on it than the other one. Put the wider head one through first because it only just fits. I've drilled a 15 mil hole, just for reference, and it only just fits through 15 mil. The skinny head fits nice and easy. Comes with a new rubber seal for the back with a washer on either side, a big flat plate washer. So you just gotta feed your cable through it. Make sure you put your little rubber seal the right way. And then make sure your light's the right way. And you got a big washer on the back. It has three prongs, which fits into a factory 70 on the back. So I'll just go underneath here. An extra set of hands is great. So then, you can align it properly. There we go. Put your little wing nut. It's like a big wing nut, to be honest. Go straight on the straight. back. That's all right. Because I can twist it once I hand tighten it. Mm -hmm. And I'll get my tape measure. So now I went, there's a nice little flat section on the 70 lights here. I just went parallel with that. So I've now got 37 and 40, so we're just a little bit off. 39 and 39. So now we'll just make sure that's nice and tight. Recheck our measurements. 39, 39. 
Then I'll take it over to the car, plug it in and make sure it actually works before I go and put the glass back on. And before I do that, I'll heat this section up with my heat gun so that it just slips back in. So we had a big weekend on the tools. We had a long weekend, we had a Monday off as well. So it's currently Monday. Can't clean this thing. So it's currently Monday. And um, we've got the car all back together. The headlights are back in. This will be the end of the headlight video. But you're going to catch a little sneak peek of something else that happened over the weekend. But um, as for the headlights, I'll give you a quick couple shots of them sitting out here. See what they look like. They look pretty good. I just got jamming to turn them on. But um, I'm pretty happy with them. Cost wise, I reckon about 500 bucks. 450, 500 bucks. Where if you paid for a complete set ready to bolt in, it would have cost you 12, 1300 at bare minimum. So save yourself a couple bucks and go ahead and do it. It's pretty straightforward. Any questions, hit me up. Don't forget, like, comment, subscribe. Subscribe to the channel because this is about the 10th week in a row. I've brought out video every single week. I'm going to keep going. I've still got another three or four down the pipeline ready to come out. So subscribe and I hope you enjoy.